When I was a young adult, I experienced a process known as burnout. I've also experienced it in other areas as well. This is where you spend a lot of energy doing something and you've been very enthusiastic about something. And then after a while, your enthusiasm goes into a decline and you get to the point where you feel very hostile about actually the things that you've been doing. And you also want to try to do something else or you feel a total lack of energy and a lack of enthusiasm. And also very little things tend to set you off as being irritable irritate you and so forth. Some people, they escape into other areas when they do this, like for example, they may uh, drink, they may smoke, they may take drugs and so forth. And none of those things in themselves are necessarily bad things. But it's also associated for some people with what's known as a quarter life crisis. The more popular crisis, the one that everyone knows about is the midlife crisis, but there is in fact also insofar as there are crises in life at all, something called the quarter-life crisis, which people experience in their early 20s. This is where they question what they've been doing up until now and wonder whether that is what their life is. I mean, for some people, they have this uh, rather daunting confrontation with a long period of their life that will consist of, say, half or three-quarters of their life during which they have made particular decisions that have pushed them in a particular direction, and they begin to feel nostalgic for recent events such as when they were at university um, or school. And as a result, this is very difficult for them and they need to attempt to get through this. I'm not saying I've got any particular advice about this. I mean, it is somewhat similar in some ways to what they call general adaptation syndrome by Hans Selye, which I don't want to go in right now, into right now. Um, but one thing that I have noticed uh, on YouTube is that there are a lot of people who appear in... One thing I have noticed, I won't be able to edit that out by the way because I haven't done this, so I'm just going to have to carry on. One thing that I have noticed on YouTube is that there appears to be YouTuber burnout. That is where people find it harder to make videos because the push to make videos goes on and on and on and they may identify very strongly with their ability to do these videos and the popularity and the number of subscribers and the number of views and so forth and then the pressure builds up on them to produce more and more videos and that's very hard for them. Now I then noticed that there are a lot of comments on some YouTube videos which are saying well why haven't you done a video recently, why is this, why are you producing so few of them, this is rubbish, this is no good which is really very unfair. Now the interesting thing about that is when you look at the people who criticise they actually don't do any uploading themselves quite often and they don't make their own videos. So how do you interpret that? Is it because they're doing it in other areas of their life and they don't concentrate on YouTube? They use YouTube as a way of winding down, of relaxing and escaping and are they doing it in other areas? Maybe. But I suppose what I'm saying is that they may have good reasons for these criticisms and they may feel that people are there to entertain them or whatever. What the people are actually there to do and the way it works is actually to do their own stuff and to be themselves as far as possible on YouTube and to do something that is fun for them or that's important to them. It's not about um, churning out video after video which won't have a very good quality because they're churning them out, they're not actually producing them. If you expected JK Rowling to produce an eighth Harry Potter book, it probably would have been rubbish. And the same is true of expecting people to churn out videos time after time. Now I am doing that myself of course, and this video obviously is of a different nature and quality because it's unscripted more or less, apart from this bit of paper which I keep looking at. And, but I suppose what I want to say is that I think that the people concerned who are maybe feeling a bit of pressure from their audience and moving into something new should be given a bit of a break and that they are maybe also, because the people I'm thinking of, and I'm not going to mention any names, although I think probably people know who I'm talking about, are perhaps experiencing a quarter-life crisis because the people concerned, and I'm not going to be a publicity whore and tell people who they are, are about 22 years old at the moment. So they are, you know, they're having a really hard time and I think it would be nice if people were just to give them a bit of a break, a bit of space, and not put pressure on them because it's probably very hard for them right now. If it isn't, then great, so that's not a problem. Uh, and if it is hard for them, then you know we need to help them through that or we need to just step back a bit and maybe actually do a bit more creative stuff ourselves.